Greetings, friends, and welcome back to The Darkness Estate. I'm Fwap, and we are about to embark on a long apprentice-level mapping expedition. Uh, we selected our crew last time. Uh, we got Bry, Wadard, Lucieux, Pavillon. Um, ennui seems to be spreading like a plague amongst these sad campers. Uh, we have upgraded our armor. Everyone has level three, everything, but we need to look into skills. And with only 7,000 in the bank, we might consider selling something. Uh, I definitely want to sell that. Improves the Plague Doctor's melee skills, which are pathetic at best. And that might be it for now. Mm. You know, for 1500 I will definitely ditch that. <clears throat> we are going after this moon cloak, which will be nice. Um, it's rare, but I think it's as good as most very rare items when it's active, um, which is only in the dark. Uh, but 15% protection is a lot. Uh, bust, here we have, we want those uh, so we can get two uh, mental treatment wards. And then the cash value, not too shabby. 4k less than this long veteran mission, but 3,000 more than a standard length veteran mission. And plus we get to camp twice. Which is, which is a big boon. Um, it's not as big a jump as being able to camp once is over standard, but hey, uh, it's pretty damn good. So uh, portraits we can upgrade in the guild, the ability to take like level five skills, but that's not necessary right now. Um, and it'll be nice to use some of these lower level dudes. The Sue, uh, his battle heal uh, gets a big improvement. Two points to the upper limit. Holy Lance is just a sick attack. Um, it only gains accuracy and 5% damage, which is holy, but we'll take it. Uh, inspiring Cry, not bad, especially once you get into these veteran missions. The ability to um, stress heal and increase the torch on the regular, solid. Here, accuracy and 1% crit chance. Here, accuracy, which always seems to come in five point increments. Um, Accuracy, crit chance, and extra damage versus unholy. A good level for that. Uh, Bulwark of Faith, marks himself, protects, raises the torch. Eh, stunning blow, not bad, but... Here, alright. I think the Leper benefits a lot from uh, skill levels. So I love Intimidate. 3% uh, uh, damage nerf increase, plus a 10% chance to apply. Um, reduces accuracy as well uh, here another three percent and one accuracy increase uh, plus of course its own accuracy and a crit chance boost which is nice on AoE skills very nice all right uh, here this one has resistances it increases health it goes up by one and that's it but I'm fine with that here stress heal and protection four percent stress heal or 4% protection plus 1 stress heal. Um, revenge. Big bonuses there, of course. Purge. I still haven't used this. Only works against the first target. Tons of... Pushes them way to the back. Clears corpses. Mm, I'd have to come up with something that really needs that. Hue is fine, um, but it's an AoE that does 40% less damage. For 35% <laughs> more, we can do damage debuffs, which I think is a lot more, the debuffs more flexible. Straight up damage, uh, other things do it better, like his own chop ability. Um, although the crit chance here, the chop ability, the basic thing it is it uses that massive base damage of leper um not very accurate though 
So every skill point, extra accuracy, crit goes up to 3%. It starts off at 2, I believe. Um, but solid. Here we have everything but level this mark target, which I definitely don't need. Um, and then Bry is already up to snuff. Since we've got so much money, camping skills, all companions plus two speed. Heal all companions 15%. Um, one companion 20% you can see how this triage is pretty significant I wish it was whole party heal three people 15% um, for twice the time cost is a little more efficient but you can just pay for food um, what you really need your party to bring is the combat power you cannot provision extra combat power into the mix so this is a long one we have fairly solid sustain um, we're going to want 16 for the firewood for maximum stress resistance. Um, and then we'll take 8 more. I think we're going to be fine with this. The ruins, uh, you can smash open cabinets. So I like to take 3 shovels, um, 2 for walls and 1 for cabinets, but you can mix it up. Skeleton key. It is a long mission, although it's only apprentice level. Let's bring just one, as I seem to get screwed on that one regularly. Two of each of these. Um, DOTs, not so bad at this level, and we don't actually want to adventure in the light. If we're going dark... I'm going to bring extra food for healing because the chance of crits is pretty brutal. Am I? Am I really? They just want herbs. The ruins, not as useful. Uh, Iron Maidens, lab, laboratory things, holy water. A little more useful, I think, for those like urns and confessionals. The occasional room thing. Let's take another key since it's a long mission. And we do want to adventure in the pitch blackness. So, let's equip for that. First off, accuracy and crit chance. Yay, stress, something we can heal from. Not a problem. Crusader, stress resistance, virtue chance, death blow resist. Not bad. Bounty hunter, 20% extra melee damage. Yes. Arbalist eye patch. 8 accuracy, 2 crit, totally. Um, all of the class specific stuff that they have is pretty sick. Now what? Uh, 25% damage, reduced max hit points. The leper can recover from all of this. 30% extra stress does kind of suck. We got decent trap work here. See what, what do I need? We're probably ahead of the, this is a potent level two party going on a level one adventure, so we're probably gonna crush combat wise. And we might not necessarily need combat statistics lest they be something like bonus damage. Okay, he's got a good stress heal. Alright, forget speed, damage. Since this doesn't slow us down and the stress cancels out, we'll take this. It'll cost us 5 health. Can 
guarantee our disarm. Moon ring, low light. Dodge and stress relief. Hmm. Here I said I didn't need combat statistics and I'm just going crazy on the combat statistics. Let's instead do this. She's already quite tough. These guys will be our damage dealers. Bri is going to be our, our alt support. You know, that's actually silliness. Let's put Dismas head on him. This bounty hunter brought in the fabled Dizma. I do think scouting... All right, he obviously is just a damage dealer. Um, here, he's kind of our support, an alt support, kind of the Mirrodin of the bunch, and so is she. And then otherwise, so we're just gonna pack these in. And we're going dark. Actually, if we're going dark, that I think is a much better move here. And I don't mind bounty hunters being kind of slow. Do I? Let's uh, let's make him not as slow. Here we go. Let's stack trap disarm. Um, and scouting chance on the guy who's got it. We'll give her that sick damage. He'll be our primary healer. Yeah. The accuracy here is so worth it. And we're just gonna leave that nasty stress causing head back where it belongs. Let us embark. Sorry about that. Um, my recording has been doing weird stuff, and I Piss wanted to double the check it. of your lineage once familiar, now foreign. Okay, what do you have here? Five, ten, twelve, fifteen, nineteen rooms. And I want to do them all in the dark. Let's wait for our torch to die out. Try and get some scouting here. Even the cold stone it's soon for my taste. There's not passage. that much room to walk around things. Everything is unholy. Let's see. Let's see if we can kill this poor axe. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Confidence surges that one too. as the enemy crumbles. on the first three, huh? Did 
Jake the standard guy. Keep that stress low, keep low. <laughs> All right, we bring it back within reach. Their formation is broken. and hack into bits. Maintain the offensive. Hey, is this really where I want everyone to be? Now she can't heal. Yeah, this is where I want people to be. Suit of armor. How'd the scout go? That's gonna be an until camp bonus. And I would it looks like we might get another one right in this next room. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just camp. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. Um, hmm. I'm actually going to go Havzy here. Uh, since I don't need anything in particular. Two food is more than enough to heal her, so why waste it on 10% health to everyone when they're all full health? It might make them sad, though. So let's get what I want. I wouldn't mind that five. I definitely want this. It's going to be a long, stressful mission. That leaves us with six. Restring crossbow. Leaves us with three. This is how we do it. It's pretty damn good. This is how we do it. He probably doesn't need that accuracy. Crit chance would be nice, but I think improved scouting is going to do us better. Traps are going to be more of a source of obnoxiousness. And then uh, combat. So let's get these bonuses up. Sometimes they have this negative echo chamber effect on each other. The promise of safety. Okay. Defense. So who do I want to have damage reduction? He's got the least health. So go for it. Oh man, no effect. Oh, okay. Ruins tactician. He also conveniently had room for positive traits. And let's Secrets just go without and the light. Wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Use the herbs when you get the chance. Three hundred cash. Poor trade, really, for the inconvenience, but not so bad. All right, we have scouting bonuses. We have chance of prize. Um, those are the things that. Uh, you lose when you ditch the light, so it's quite important to make up for them somehow. Um, monster accuracy, everyone's crit chance. We also have that book that helps prevent us from being surprised, we hope. And we are a bit over leveled. Yeah, let's go ahead and mark him. I could stun him, but I think we can take him out pretty fast. Maybe we can kill that guy? No. Yeah, they're gonna have trouble with us. Okay, crits are good. The damage debuff. 
Help us out a good bit. Oh, you want another Holy Lance, is that what you're trying to say? And then our sniper here has a chance to one-shot. Holy Lance, so good. Destroy them all. Ouch. Let's heal, get those resistances. We might be able to use those. Impressive. Nice. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Okay. Let's pour holy water on everything. Slow draw removed. Uh, that's pretty good. And we got a scout. That's pretty much all we need. his resistance, but not enough, apparently. Let's see if we can finish her off before she acts. Sadly, no. Let's get some bonus speed here. And let that horrific damage. I'm less worried about him. I don't want this madman. Don't want to deal with him. And now that he's up here... Mm-hmm. We increased our speed. A devastating blow. Uh, the Crusader still has a turn and can definitely hold this off, so let's just heal. And if we stack these resistances, we can use that when we go in after Curios. So fast. Let's just finish him off. Minimal damage, but all we needed. Ooh, another shovel. Victory's nice. Mount, so too will resistance. Such carnage, yes. I assume this is bloodthirsty. Gains claustrophobia, as anyone would. Yeah, bloodthirstiness attracts people to that. Scouting, so we just need to explore. Um, but we're way above combat par here. She really needs the stress. So let's let's have her do it. 80%, huh? 80% is pretty good for an apprentice level. This ability to snipe the back row is really nice. Lots of camping equipment. Pitch black. <laughs> As pointed out to me, not safe on veteran levels. Grotesque shamblers all over the place. Okay. Moderate chance of outright preventing her from getting a turn. Let's make sure this guy doesn't get another one. Good chance of finishing him off. Leopard don't care. Mm. 
Let's go ahead and pop up. The bounty hunter will do the collecting here. Draw him forward. Okay, I know we're, we're pushing the limit of, uh, but that crit, I think, needs to be addressed. There we go. Now let's kill this. Might need to push the bounty hunter back a step. Okay, round four is where I like to wrap things up. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Before we throw anything out, let's do that. This thing... We've got bleed, blight, move, all the resistances. Just go for it. Uh, six of jet so far, which is... That's a nice stack. Better than gold if you can get four of them. Okay. Traps to these level heroes. Basically nothing. Oops. Not the position I usually go for. I wasn't counting on a crit, you know, like you like you don't. Oh, I was hoping the anti-human damage would let me one-shot that thing. Ha. He feels none of your temptation. That guy does. Let's hew her. Stress is definitely what I worry about more than other stuff. Sadly, this guy has a go at us. What's his bleed resist? Very poor due to anemia. Counteract some of this bleed. This guy's now our patsy. To let us top up our health. The damage output of these enemies is just not strong enough to really hold me back. Let's mark him and increase the chance for our uh, Arbalist to get a crit. He's gonna sit there and take care of himself. I just don't have anything to do. 31.5% chance to crit. Sadly, not the case. At least she gets three stress relief from the kill. Be wary. And we now have seven jet. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Ooh, I did have bandages, but it only would have prevented. Well, I could have used it earlier. Should have used those bandages when they applied the second bleed. But at least we'll, we're pretty sure we're going to get another chance to use them. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be too many obstacles. I Hopefully we ran into most of the obstacles. Uh, looks like we have a great chance to explore without using up all the shovels we brought. 
Uh, plus we got an extra shovel. 125 cash. On these missions, I'm going to guess Citrine and Jade are going to be almost worthless because you're going to end up throwing them away. Traps, but mostly scouting. Man, the number of room battles in that um, veteran room battle quest was ridiculous. Okay, these things cause stress, and I can one shot them with my AoE. A powerful blow. Something we would like. And a nice little pile of stress relief. Good resist. Let's stun it. He's got a wee bit of stress. Let's actually push our Arbalist forward. Unless we get a crit, we're just going to debuff this guy. So that she can heal herself. Nice. In that case, let us just finish this. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Get our scout off. I'll take it. Want to use up these bandages, maybe this holy water. Bandages aren't going to help us here. A decisive yeah, let's be done with that. I don't even have anything to do. The chance of a crit is better than anything else I had going on. This expedition Sapphires, when adventuring success. in the complete dark, are going to be awesome. Um, and Citrine, kind of worthless. When you have overpowering combat abilities like this, a Jester is a great thing to bring just for that constant stress heal. If you can just function with three combat party members, um, you can keep your stress at pretty much absolute zero. We're also really doing well on food. Holy Lance, so good for picking these guys off with their really low health. This one. Stop stressing out, brah. You're fine. Let's avoid any unnecessary us dying. Leper Rage. Anyone would be pissed. The ground quakes. And then her crit chance is ridiculous. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Anything I would ditch for straight up gold. Uh, this holy water. Don't think it's going to do us any good. 
I want to shift her up so we can get a little bit of heals on her. Apparently, we're going to need. Mm, well, if we get Intimidate off, it'll put her and those in the ground. Lever don't care. Miss the days when Mark did damage. Momentum. Push on to the task. Yeah, see her crit chance? Base 13. Every fight is just another chance at awesome goodies. We've got five keys now, which is pissing me off. But we are we are doing well. It's all about now, micro redu micromanaging stress reduction, I suppose. Good. Gotta get rid of this food somehow. Okay, it looks like we have plenty of recovery for this level. Way too many keys. Please, take them. Oh, are you serious? Jeez, game. Jeez. So a three stack is worth as much as a stack of gold, and it's definitely worth keeping around because it also gives the option of stacking a fourth. A um, hundred gold, not worth my trouble. But we are... Nicely filling up. We're gonna think about camping soon, I guess. If we save our camp for the end, of course that means we need two stacks of everything. Where are our camping skills? Encourage is actually a good one if you manage to save stress for the end. A lot of good stress reduction. Sadly, I forgot to move my Crusader back to rank 2. Or we might have killed that guy before he could do that. Let's take that down. I was actually hoping for a crit. You know, because when I do, I get it. A singular strike. Okay, a little bit of stress. A trifling victory. Not, Not a so victory, much room. nonetheless. Do I have? He actually has inspiring cry. If I put took that, we might actually be able to. We wouldn't be adventuring in the dark. Okay, there's another obstacle. Okay, am I willing to trade anything for a stack of cash right now? These medicinal herbs. You know what? 
brought too many. This thing's probably going to be trapped. Yes, sir. We have too many keys. Use one. I didn't think so. Light sucks. So we can go for stress reduction. I see quite a few fights on the horizon. We've got our combat buffs on. Obviously we don't need all these combat buffs. I could use more room for loot. All right, let's camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Stress relief. Rats in a maze. I want that for the dark. Quarantine is awesome. Unshakable leader. Got three left. This is how we do that. Accuracy, damage, crit chance, so good. Let's let her string crossbows. Could have made her more stress resistant, but I think we're fine. Okay, that cleaned out two spaces in our inventory. Yeah? Get a bonus, bros. The most pitiful ambush known to man. He's like, look, dude, I have a permit. And they're like, no, you can't camp here. Why do you keep coming back? You can't, you can't camp here. I obey n the way is no lit. man. The path is clear. We require okay. only I the strength to follow it. in the proper party it. order now. Let's use this torchlight. Good. Apparently, 80% is enough. Not a bad find for having the lights on. We want to get a scout in this last room, if I can. I'd like to know if I can ditch my shovels or not. Mm. The darkness holds in much that worse case, than mere whatever. And boogeymen. Try and use up our shovels. I want to use up the key and the shovel. Because if I know... Yeah, better than a trap indeed. If I know... So this treasure room. I know I want to use a key here. I probably want to use a key. Here? Mm, hard to say. Um, so, we want to ditch these keys as soon as possible. These shovels too. Good scouting will let us ditch the shovels. Knowing we've used up all the key rooms, I'd let us use the keys. Yes, Holy Lance, so good. Precision and power. Crits are good. Plus, we got the debuffs on those guys. Yes, yes. He gets a little of his own back. He promptly loses it. Palpable fear. Jeez. Jeez, guys, that's so much stress. We'll stack the damage debuff and kill off the other one. Get you back in shape. Nice. 
How is my leper going first? Everything is so backwards and wrong. Nice. Maybe we can at least shuffle it forward. Ah, if it's stunned, so much the better. And we're all fine. We're fine. <laughs> it's like our only chance. True. In compartments. Torches need not apply. Okay, there's only one quarter left unscouted. I think we can do without the shovel, because we can just end the quest if we were about to hit a obstacle. Note that five is the hotkey here, and it's really quick to use it to switch. Medicinal herbs. Uh huh. No one's even injured. Hey. You know what? You're a little more stressed out than everyone else. You get to disarm the traps this time, guy. What oh, the. Dun, 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 dun. Let's wrap up with this room battle, if possible. Uh, there's only one possible obstacle. Um, and we're trying to get rid of things. Shovel first. Yeah, I'm even going to keep Jade over the shovel at this point. I want those crests. Chances of finding a bunch of emeralds at this point in the game, or at this point in the mission, seem a little low. Yeah. Soon we're not going to need crests. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, um, I find these guys to be generally deadlier than the ones in the back. These guys do damage, but it's spread out over everyone. Let's take care of the ones who haven't acted. I don't know how my leper's so fast. Must be the armor. Or everyone else is just horrifically slow. Okay, I want suppressing fire. There's no way they're not going to get to go first. That's how I feel about it. So I want them to not crit me. Because they do have these AoE attacks that have a solid chance of critting. Can't even reach all of them. Let's heal some stress since we're almost certainly going to get popped by this guy. Oh, or not. Solid. 150 is not worth mixing up the stuff. Totally going to continue. If an obstacle pops up in our way, then that just that just sucks to be us. Ancient traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting so. for blood. If we find holy what? Uh, no, we're not going to find anything. Ooh, free fight. Take it. Can you use keys on these? Didn't think so. Emeralds. 
plus eight dodge, minus one speed. Two curios left. That's probably only worth seven fifty. Onyx is in emeralds. Let's save our keys for now. It's a tough call. I would have taken onyx or emerald instead of the keys without much hesitation. Okay, we get to go first. Stress is what's annoying the most. Uh, they're not stunned, nor do I believe they account as stunned, but... Let's finish off one, cripple the other if we can. Self-care first, guys. They're really tormenting me with this jet. Almost no chance. We're gonna get to use those keys. Let's hold off though. Staring at my loot. No point in taking a trap to the face when he's got stress. It's just as good as anyone else's, so there was a chance at a curio with keys. None found. Yes. Let's prevent that. St yes. heal. This close to the end, of course, all about reducing your stress if you can. Hit points, eh. That is worth ditching keys for at this point. Perfect. And let's hunt down this last fight. No keys to be used here, like I said. And the last fight. Admin and me without my holy lands. Get off of you, madman. Some old god rending. Lizu can't resist a good bleed. Duffel crit. Impressive. Let's give her the axe before she. Um, acts. <laughs> mm. Let's 
stun him, mark him, and then shoot him. That's my plan. That way she has a good chance of crit. Uh, him, stress. might crit heal himself. So we're kind of fishing for crits that way. And here we have a 31 and a half percent chance for a crit, which gives us eight. Eight of our own back. Oh, trying to offer me keys now. Well, we don't need food. I don't think we ate as fast. All right, we are jam packed with treasure and the map is done. I call that a win. Look at all this gold. Gold, gold, gold. I feel like Dungeon Keeper all over again. All right, and we are out. What if we're ambushed? You'll be fine. Uh, you're right. You're right. Quest over. The great ruins belong to Seven and a half K and gold we will find from there. there. And we bring home, oh, 18,000 gold in treasure. Um, way to go, us. Uh, I think we manage our inventory perfectly, which I love. Is you kind of have to manage everything perfectly in this game to expect great results. You can get mediocre results, um, whether mismanagement or uh, just unfortunateness strikes. And, of course, almost at any moment you can end up with poor results. But... Uh, this is pretty gratifying. Um, a good deal of deeds is nice. Deeds, uh, paintings are the one thing I didn't need. Uh, so all of this is good, 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 good. All right, and three people hit level two, leaving few people to go on my level one quests. But as you can see, it's not so bad. Range skills, that's totally worthless. Unholy Slayer replaces quick reflexes. Okay. Uh, Unholy Slayer is perfect on those guys. Uh, it might be locking in while he's level 2 and it's cheap. Diurnal, that sucks. But that's not a very fast class to begin with, so... I was lord of this place. Excellent. The crows and rats Seems like every time I've domain. cured someone and they had more than one disease, I got rid of all of it. Um, since I bought that first upgrade. Uh, let me point to the upgrade. This one. Increased chance of curing extra diseases has been like 100% for me since then. I've only done it three times, so three for three. Polemic, gripping in the guts. Rabies, problematic, but not the worst. Pretty accurate class, I find. Um, so not such a problem. Except that we're, uh, level three is the low end of that spectrum. Okay, so we've got 29 busts. I do want to increase the treatment cells here, especially now that we actually have some cash. Um, time to start banking that 10k gold, um, or at least five, so that you can actually uh, fail on a mission completely and still have a well-funded second mission to go. Stun, blight, bleed. Uh, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Thunders is especially against the Swine King, I would say. Tome of Healing. Uh, these are both pretty solid. Um, I would I would take any of those. Especially now that Blight Bleed is so real. Such a real thing. Weapons first, because that increases your... Damage and speed. Um, skills increase your accuracy. And crit chance also increased by weapons, but I mean, you just, you don't count on crits unless you're a Hellion. Um, armor is nice, but um, doing the killing more important than surviving the enemy's kill. But we just barely made it. Um, definitely taking this. Fan the flames. Mold the metal. We are raising an army. 
Yes, we are. And now our level three can all acquire level three weapons um, at exorbitant cost. Uh, fortunately, we made a lot of money on that last mission. Um, and let's use it to... All right, who was it that I wanted to lock some? Lisieu. Lisieu, where are you? Lisieu. Okay, it's kind of cheap. Anemia sucks. Totally on. Totally on board with this one. 10% accuracy, 3% crit chance versus Unholy, and he's already got the massive damage buff to Unholy. Um, four and a half K, not a bad price to play, pay to lock that in. How much does it cost to lock in these? Yeah, 5,000 um, for a level three, but it's only three and a half here. Unless it just depends on the no. Uh, a skill that made locking in good skills cheaper, or like a, a positive quirk that made locking in good perks cheaper would be really cool, I think. Um, okay, so we've got him. We're locking stuff in there. I'm sure it's god-awful expensive at this low rank. Yeah. Having my resistance is high, starting to look really good. Let's go ahead and cure those, since she's got multiple diseases. You could use stress instead. Stress damage, extra stress damage is so obnoxious. If they've only got one left, uh, you can use Coral to get rid of that, so might totally be worth it. Busy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and lock these in because Eagle Eye, the extra crit chance, is so good on the Highwaymen. On we. Fits, but he can cure himself quite easily. Oh, we do have to pay for that. Because he can't use these on himself. Not really a problem for him. His crits are already pretty sunk. All we're losing here is five accuracy and gaining three speed, <coughs> which is actually fine. Anyone else have a disease they want to share? Bulimic. I really do not care. Healing while in camp is not my jam. Although maybe later in the game it becomes important. We got that. Beast hater. Okay, let's sort by stress. Won't pray.
can spare these to save myself All a little bit of money. Of diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. Nice and cheap. And we've got 17k to go into a mission. Uh, I think we can do it pretty easily. Uh, we also secured that moon cloak. Moon cloak. All right, veteran necromancer. Long, horrific mission where you can get ancestors mustache cream. Light resist. Keep that mustache creamy. I guess. Okay, I see a veteran long mission and a baby one. Oh, the Book of Relaxation is a good item. But, ah, the Focus Ring. This, I do love this. It's pretty good, especially on a class that's already not dodgy. Um, the cash is good. The crests are good. Um, we do need to work up to, we need lots of deeds, as always. Um, so long treks in the wheeled for babies isn't really a bad idea. Um, uh, it looks like our baby party is busy and would have to go shorthanded, which is idiocy. Um, so we have to go on a veteran mission anyway. Focus ring. Speed, damage, extra stress, reduced virtue, but that's kind of cool. Some bosses trying to taunt us. Not really tempted. Another moon ring wouldn't be bad. Light, bleed, and debuff. Resistance is increased, skill chance decreased. This is great because a lot of classes can those uh, penalties are going to be basically nothing. Um, diseased mushrooms. Yeah, we're room battles. Ugh. In the cove. Ugh. What do we? What do we have here? Mm, level fours won't refuse to go on veteran missions. This might be worth it to us. Uh, these level f Theon in particular. Um, solid, though I wouldn't mind saving him for... We have all these boss fights we're going to have to do. Yeah, God, we have to take level threes. Okay. Um, but this will give us the max XP to level everyone up. In the cove, what are we going to want? It's nice having a character you don't have to sweat about. I want to take her because I'd like to get rid of any of these. <laughs> um, I want to take, who else? I think Rinald is a fine choice. Macy's got skills. Then I kind of want to keep this whole thing moving Excellent bleed resist here, sir. She kind of needs to be in front. Leper in front wouldn't be bad. They are tough. Cove Explorer, sold. Okay, I think this is the crew I'm gonna take. Holy Lance, so good. Um, I think I will swap in Battle Heal. Oh no, I'm gonna swap in Inspiring Cry. Um, Cause we could use a Healed and the Torchlight and Stress Resistance. Uh, we have a nice healer here. Let me go ahead and purchase that before I forget 
my awesome strategy. 625, this is a thousand we've spent on it. 1750. Heals one to two points, nine stress, and eight torch. Um, this'll let us save money on torches even. Um, and then battle heal, he can only use from the front. Stunning blow, actually gonna be really good here. We could ditch Zealous Accusation. And we could go for Battle Heal. Yeah, let's let's see. Let's see the support crusader in action. Obviously we have to be in rank two to use most of our stuff. Um, Um, so we're either Holy Lancing or Stunning Battle Heal. We're useful from all positions, thanks to Inspiring Cry. Um, Battle Heal, of course, only works on the front, but let's try this. Let's try this. It's interesting. It's a little weird, but it's high sustain, and that's what we need. Also expensive, but whatever. Macy, what you got for me? All right, more Torch Plus. That skill is awesome. Uh, I think we probably only got accuracy, maybe crit chance from that, but. Here, I guess we're gonna bank 5K this time. <laughs> um, Blight Bleed Cure, always nice. This increases the health we can get back, which I find exceptionally good. This increases our crit chance, uh, which is great when you hit three people at once. 1%, that's like 3%, what? The stun, super useful, especially because of the buffs that can be thrown out on super tough enemies. And bleed is kind of critical. Uh, so I really wouldn't mind having a bleed skill. Plus this can attack from ranks three. Uh, and we're gonna be forced back a good bit. So I might actually take this in favor of Wicked Hack. Uh, crit chance up, sure. It is expensive, but I'm fine with that. Note that now we're investing tons of money in our adventurers. Um, level 3 is where they just... Oh, Urbard. You know what? Let's save ourselves some cash. And ditch her bard in favor of Papillon, who is already quite upgraded. Right? Yeah. Skill-wise, now to the blacksmith, where this is this is gonna. Uh, yeah. Um. Hmm, okay, this is a kind of a must. This is a long battle mission. Thankfully, we can now sell trinkets. Back when I originally developed the strategy, you could not. So, we're not going to be banking. We're actually going to be upgrading our two primary damage dealers' weapons. And that is what we're gonna take on the next mission when we dive into the cove to get the focus ring, an excellent weapon uh, or trinket, um, a bunch of crests and a bunch of gold. Gold being primary crests, not necessarily what I need right now, but it is, uh, yeah, we are coming to fruition here. Uh, camping skills, pretty sure these guys already nailed all of the excellent camping skills. Yeah. So, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. 
I uh, hope that you are looking forward to our Monday, January 4th, Bleak House launch. Um, this series, the Darkest Dungeon series, um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to continue it on my new channel or on this one. R know that from a business standpoint, I do want to convert as many people to that channel as possible. So I'm likely to start um, starting Monday, my daily release is likely to be on that new channel because not only does it need more content, um, but I'm going to need... Um, uh, yeah, but I'm going to want you guys to come over and subscribe to me there. And if there's any, like, dead weight on this channel, people who don't actually watch anything and subscribe, because I know I'm dead weight to a lot of people's channels, we'll just uh, start fresh and new. Uh, plus, it would be great to see some familiar faces when I jump out into the scary world of trying to run our own business, right? Whoa. Entrepreneurship? Um, we are looking to make at least a minor uh, living on YouTube. I'm not counting on it, but it would be nice. And I'm going to give it my all for the next, like, uh, four months before I really have to start making hard decisions. So, um, yeah, I will see you there. And like I constantly keep in mind whenever I think about my business, remember, it's all downhill from here.